Hey guys, Nick here with TechCore Duo. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the web UI for KubitTorrent. Um, you can access this internally and externally from your, um, your network. Um, accessing externally will require a little bit more work, but uh, I can explain that as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. Settings. Um, right here, KubitTorrent makes it kind of easy. They have web UI. Um, first thing we're gonna do is enable web interface. It's gonna go ahead and show us our port. You can change this. Um, then down here, um, right down the line, we'll, we'll see the um, certificate right here. So what this does is it, it, it's a certificate you can create or have created that will have an encrypted tunnel for you to access this from outside the network, which is strongly recommended um, because um, hackers, attackers can peer into what you're doing if you do not have this. Although this isn't 100% secure, it is much more secure and encrypted than it is without it. So I greatly recommend if you're gonna use this and try to access this um, outside the network, that you do have an SSL certificate um, set up on your computer for this. So just going down the line, authentication. We're gonna go ahead and use admin as the username for now. I'm gonna go ahead and make the password just password. Um, with this setting, you can bypass authentication for local host. Um, I'm just gonna leave it because I don't want anyone else on our network to access this. Um, and then right here, it says update my dynamic um, domain name. So you can always just put a domain, domain name here. Um, I'm not gonna do that, but we'll go ahead and click apply. Click okay. And now to access this, all you need to do is open up your web browser. You type in the IP address of your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and type mine in right now. So I know this just by heart. Um, I set this up myself, but if you wanna know your IP address, you can always go to um, start and you can go to command prompt by typing in CMD, IP config, and it will actually show you. So if you go up here, this is my LAN network. So this is my wired network. It'll tell me right here what my IP address is. Okay, so, and if you want to find another way, you can go down to your network settings here, or better yet, let's go ahead and just type in network, network and sharing center, which is right here. We're gonna go ahead and click enter on that. Connections, ethernet. You can then click on details, and here's the IP address right there. All right, so now that we've found our IP address, we're gonna go ahead and type it in here hit enter, nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna actually just um, come up with this error. But um, as you saw before, we have a port. So the port is 8080. I'm gonna go back over here and do a colon 8080. Hit enter. It's gonna come up with the web UI interface. I'm gonna go ahead and type in admin, password, click enter, and here we are. We are in and we can actually add torrents from here, add links, delete torrents, pause, um, prioritize them, even, even change the settings from here. Um, now to add this from, to access this from outside the network, you'll need to do a little more configuration in your router. What you need to do is go to port forwarding. You would then um, put in the IP address of your computer and then make sure that port 8080 is available for um, the router to point to um, your computer. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's fairly straightforward. There will be more videos on that later. Um, currently I'm using Google Wi-Fi, which it's all um, mobile based. So it's just an app on my phone, which is a little bit harder to, harder to display, but um, that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them below, like and subscribe and uh, have a great day guys.